Hines, Hans at a half your man. Com. Today's topic is getting back to the gym after an injury. Well, <laughs> I'm going back to the gym. I injured my back. I've I talked about it a little bit in a previous video, but I heard it uh, about three or four weeks ago doing uh, uh, a pressing movement and it kind of threw out my upper back. It was my upper back, not my lower back. And it took quite a bit of time to feel better and I really it really didn't start feeling better until I just recently got a chiropractic adjustment of the area. My chiropractor kind of knew that he could feel that it was wrong, right? I can't, you can't feel your own back, what's going on there. Your hands can't reach, right? But uh, a trained professional can can normally figure out what's wrong with, with you. And I, I don't, I, I just went to him on my normally scheduled uh, adjustment. I didn't make a special extra trip, and, and actually, this was there was a longer gap between my normally scheduled appointments. I just couldn't go in at the normal. I had to wait a week, so suffered even longer. And you know, this up this back problem. I was kind of assuming it would take a couple weeks to feel better, but a couple weeks came and went really wasn't feeling that much better so just kind of I kept not lifting so now I'm going back to the gym today it's been oh, quite a while so you know trying to plan how I might do things I'm, I'm scheduled to do a bench press and a deadlift and an arm so kind of a two big two big lifts now the bench press that shouldn't hurt that that tender back, but the deadlift, that might. So I'm gonna have to be tentative on my lifting today. And I'm probably gonna have to keep myself under control since it's, so, it's been so long since I've lifted. It's been quite a, it's been quite a, 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 a lengthy layoff. So I'll, I, I feel flabby and, and a little bit weak and and uh, you know, wondering how it's gonna go today. But you know, the just because you feel flabby and weak doesn't mean you shouldn't go to the gym. The whole reason to go to the gym is so you don't feel flabby and weak. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. I'll probably whatever I did the last time on those lifts, I'll probably scale that down somewhat, do a little bit less. That would be probably. The smart thing to do, especially since the reason I haven't been lifting was this injury, right? So you don't want to get re-injured. So I think I'm going to scale down. You know, look, I have my weight lifting training logbook, so I'll look at that and go down. You know, less weight. You know, less less effort than that last time, so I don't get overly sore and re-injure myself. But see, this, this this is why you don't want to get injured too much, because every time you get injured, you got to scale everything back and start at a lower volume, lower sets, lower reps, lower weights. So, but if I just start in right where I left off, I'm not sure that I can handle that because it's been so long and, and, it, and I was definitely hurting. So again, give that idea some thought. If you've, if you've taken a long layoff because of an injury or just for whatever reason a long layoff, you, you probably should go, don't start in where you left off, or don't go higher than when you left off, go lower, smaller weights, smaller sets, smaller, you know, everything a little bit less. And then hopefully you can build, you'll, you'll, you'll build from there rather than assuming that you're going to be fine. Now, the, the, the length of the layoff kind of arbitrary. My layoff has been nearly a month, nearly a month. So I, I definitely feel quite a bit flabbier and quite a bit weaker than than then. So I'm going to have to go down in the weight, go down 
in the in my expectations with the goal of um, staying uninjured and building from here all for now